How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Mojo Group Mike here. Today we've got another sling, but this is a special sling. I've covered sling twos in the past. This is a special sling though. It's a sling two, but this may be the most powerful sling two that you've ever seen. Stay tuned. The sling two. You know I've covered the sling two in the past, maybe a year or two years ago. And all this time, believe it or not, I've never actually flown in one. I've really only flown in the four-seater. And this week, as I'm doing my transition training, I started flying the sling too. And these things are beautiful to fly. Honestly, you wouldn't even think that you're in a light sport. Because I've had experiences flying in the, in the light sport before. And I remember flying the CTLS way back. That was the very first light sport I flew. And I was getting bounced around pretty good. But I've been flying this airplane now, not this particular one, but another sling to the last couple of days. And it's been literally the most balanced LSA that I've flown in. Okay, now this one in front of me is a special one. As you can see, this is this airplane is brand new, by the way. It might need some cleaning, but it's brand new. They just finished putting it together. And this is not a light sport. Most sling twos out there are basically factory built and they are light sport aircraft with limitations but this one is an experimental because they've got a bigger better engine in there and you can go faster and that's what makes this airplane special uh the owner you see it's silver man just the sun is shining like crazy they've got silver on it and they've got this nice brown accent colors I apologize for the win. I don't have my exit of mic on me today, uh, but I wanted to show you guys this airplane before I head out of here. Which is, actually, I came down here to French Valley in that, the TSI. This is the big brother of this here. But let me tell you more about this airplane, okay? November 410 Lima Papa. This is a Sling 2, but it's an experimental Sling 2 because it's got a turbo engine in it, okay? As a matter of fact, let me go down to the cowl so I can talk about that engine for a little bit. Now, I did cover this airplane last year when it was still being built. Perhaps I didn't upload that video on YouTube. My MVP members saw the video. Uh, but in this cowling, in here is a Rotax 914. For those of you who are not familiar with light sports or the sling twos in general, they use a 100 horsepower Rotax 912. But this one uses a 914, which adds an extra horsepower for you. But more importantly, you've got a turbocharger in there. And so the way it works is you get a turbo boost on your takeoff and you maintain a good amount of horsepower as you climb all the way to 15,000 feet. Okay, but you're not burning more gas. You're still maintaining the same fuel economy as a Rotax 912. Now, let me back up and you see another thing that's different about this aircraft. The prop. This is a constant speed prop. So, if I get closer, you see it says Air Master. And this constant speed prop is controlled on the inside electronically. For those who don't really fly, this comes in really handy on a hot day like this because you can easily slide up and down whenever you're attaching so you have all that cool air coming in while you're still on the ground but you see the interior here very nice very simple they've got the gray and the blue and you see there the center panel there you've got your throttle and your brake and that's it now let's talk numbers this airplane a normal sling two you're cruising between 110 and 120 knots that's not bad and in on hot days you may be cruising 90 knots but for the most part, expect 120 miles per hour in a sling two. But guess how fast this thing will go? When you take this plane up to altitude because of that 914 engine, say you take it above 10,000 feet, you're cruising at 150 knots. Okay, that's a translation of 170 miles per hour. Okay, that's how fast you can go in this tiny little bird. All right, so you're, you'll be going about 50 miles per hour more in this plane than any other standard sling two. And if we come in the interior here, there's more magic to go around. This airplane is fully stacked. You see the avionics panel here, you've got the Garmin, you've got the autopilot, and 
this is an IFR platform. So you can fly this airplane in IFR, but obviously you have to be instrument rated. And also, because this is an experimental airplane, you have to have a private pilot license. So a light sport or a sport pilot cannot fly this. A private pilot can. And speaking of pilot license, you know I work with Fly It Forward. It's a nonprofit program that trains new pilots how to fly. You can go all the way to commercial. And right now, they're looking for application and they're also looking for CFIs to donate their time. And also for anyone who has an airplane that's either abandoned or an airplane that you like to donate, the program can really use it. For more information, just head on to flyitforward.us. So guys, here I am in the interior of the airplane. Very neat. This thing is brand new, as I said. Um, the seats are comfortable. Uh, I actually recently started flying Sling 2s, and for so long, I didn't know how well these things fly, but they, they fly really well. I'm sitting really good in here. In terms of size, I'm an average built guy and I'm 5'10", so I've got headroom in here. If I were to pull this close, it's hot as hell in here, so I won't leave it close. But you see that I still have uh, some room up here. And so somebody taller can sit here and also the seats are adjustable. So for example, if you need more leg room, you can always adjust the seat uh, forward or backwards. But let me show you the real magic in here. Uh, but before that, you can see all the room in the back there for your luggage. And you see it says experimental. So this is an experimental aircraft, uh, but well built. It's like being built by the factory. But let me show you where the real magic is happening. Here we are, guys. This is the beautiful panel on this airplane. We go from left to right. Okay, you've got your lanes here. Again, the, the engine in this airplane is turbocharged, fuel injected. So you've got an ECU that automates things for you. You've got a nice 10-inch g3x touch here garmin if you've ever flown behind this you know how well or how nice this this really makes your life easy so easy when you're flying and then constant speed prop right here uh, this is the same system you will find in my sling tsi and all the other uh sling fours or tsis out there uh, but this is a sling two this is a two-seater so you know this airplane will go fast it will go really fast and so you have your prop controller there um, and then you've got your electronic switches here. You come to the middle. See another magic. Backup G5. Guess what? You can fly IFR in this plane. This is a GTN 650. And then you've also got an autopilot here. So this airplane has all the bells and whistles. If you want, show you some, some nice trick here. Get guess what this is. Uh oh got a little cubby here so you can use this for storage if you need to um, and if you need a second screen you can always have an iPad but I actually like the the use of this here for uh, for storage and then you've got your circuit breakers not a lot of them here charger there I see we have any USB ports in here there we are three amps USB ports to charge your phone or any other devices you may have in here and then you come down, you got your fuel selector. Uh, this is the typical place you would have this anyway. So it's it's easy reach. Uh, this airplane does not come with a parachute. Uh, normally when you have a parachute, you would have it up here. Uh, but still, you don't need a parachute if you know how to properly fly. It's just a, a great uh, extra safety tool. Um, and then you come to the middle console here. You've got your throttle and the handbrake. So all slings have this, handbrakes. And this is the switch to hold the brake in place if you were stopping or holding short. Now, something interesting I wanted to discuss with this throttle. So if you go in the Sling 4, the predecessor of the TSI, you will find something like this. In the Sling TSI, you don't have this extra uh, clip here. And the reason you have this is with this airplane, with the 914 Turbo, you only have... You can use the, the turbo to climb for or to full power at about five minutes. So you've got a good five minute window there and that boosts you up pretty good. And so that's what this is for. This is to activate that turbo. So say for example, you're taking off, boom, you push this in, you go up, you let that turbo run for a minute and then you clip back. Once you hit a click, then you've deactivated your turbo and then you can continue climbing 
at a good amount of power so that's what that is for and you'll find that obviously in this airplane uh, it's a very very neat feature and you come down here you've got a cubby another storage here which can be very useful and one thing I do like about the sling design it's very simple and you can see they didn't they didn't really cut corners with this interior they did a very neat job I'm big on just clean and simple nothing fancy nothing crazy you've got pockets there you've got another there but you can see it's all soft touches you're not hitting your hand against this so this guys is the beautiful interior and obviously you've got a center stick I've been flying for the last seven days here and it's been beautiful uh, this is one thing I've just been learning to get used to and it's simple once you get once you get a hand on it uh, this is your trim and you basically trim down and up using that so this is very nice so guys this is the neat interior for this airplane and the last thing I wanted to show you was the rudder pedals you've got both on both sides so if you love everything that you're hearing this airplane is actually for sale if you ask anybody right now anyone who's looking to get into a sling particularly either the four-seater or the two-seater you gotta wait right now they're pretty backed up obviously COVID-19 uh, playing a role big role there uh, but also just there's been a lot of demand for the slings and this airplane is readily available just newly built as you can see this is fresh out the factory. This actually was built in Torrance, California uh, by professionals. And you see every detail in there. It's pretty sweet. So right now, this airplane is for sale. The price tag on it currently is $220,000. $220, okay, I'm going to leave a phone number on the screen and also in the description below. Um, or you can just email me at myplanetmojo.net. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Guys, if this is your first time, make sure you subscribe with notification bell on. Hell, if you've been watching all my videos, make sure you subscribe with notification bell on. Thank you all so much for watching. And a great way to support the channel is by becoming an MVP member. Head on to mojogrip.net forward slash MVP. And thank you all so much for watching. And I will catch you on the next video.